Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Samurai Carpenter. This week's episode, we're going to be making a hand carved Native American peace pipe. Uh, these things are really fun, uh, especially when you're on a camping trip with your friends, your bros, or uh, you know, sitting on the backyard around a campfire, pack a bowl in this thing, pass it around. It's a real great experience for uh, all those who are involved, and it's actually really, really nice to smoke a long pipe. Now, the peace pipe. My my take on why they made these things so long is because the longer the shaft, the more it cools the smoke as you're smoking it. So you don't get a what's called tongue bite, where you got this hot smoke it starts to uh, irritate your tongue. So yeah, they're a lot nicer to smoke. Keeps the smoke a lot cooler than a short kind of English or European style pipe, and uh, they're a lot more fun to smoke as well. You kind of feel like you've gone back in time. So yeah, here's uh, saw horses that we built last week. I just put a coat of linseed oil on them. And you can see here, a smart idea I came up with is to add this uh, high friction non-skid pad on top, which uh, keeps your material from getting damaged by the sawhorses and it stops it from sliding around when you're planing or routering and stuff like that. So yeah, that's those, but for now let's get started on the piece pipe. Alright, so these are the tools that you're going to need. Basically I cut a piece of cherry. Uh, about an inch and a quarter square. Um, I know there's all sorts of pipe gurus out there that say, you know, you can only use this type of wood, that type of wood. Um, I find that cherry seems to be just fine. And uh, it's not toxic from what I know. I'm not dead from smoking my other one for years now. And uh, it's nice hard wood. It's easy to work with and it's beautiful. So I use cherry. You might use something else. Maple. I've also made pipes out of maple. That that works fine too, um, but I, I personally like cherry. So start with an inch and a quarter square piece of cherry. Now the tricky part is drilling the hole. That's kind of the, the whole trick to this whole project is drilling the hole. Now what I'm going to try and do is use this 1-8 ship auger bit. It's about a foot long, which isn't quite long enough to go the way, all the way through, but hopefully it'll give me a straight hole for the first foot. And then I'm going to switch over to this is just my MacGyver uh, five gallon bucket handle. Uh, I just bent off of a bucket, flattened it out, ground a little chisel tip on the end, and that will hopefully follow the straight hole that I did with the drill bit and then finish me off the last uh, three or four inches that I'll need without uh, going too far off center. So let's give it a shot. All right, so my first attempt was not a success that uh, gives you any encouragement. Um, yeah. The grain is moving a little bit along this wood. Kind of got a twist in it, so hopefully that won't run my bit too far off. I'll try and do this one straight. Alright, so drilled my end hole, went down with a 5 8 Forstner, met the hole, turned out to be a little bit on the side of the hole, but hey, it still works great. Run the drill bit through three or four more times just to clean out the hole. The next part after you've made the shaft is to cut out the bowls now. You might as well cut out two because eventually you will wear, wear one out, you'll burn through it or it'll just get uh, burnt up on the inside. So you might as well make two so that you have a spare. So once you've got your blocks cut out, I made mine inch and three quarters square by two and three quarters long. So you're going to draw a line at about a half an inch up. That part's going to fit into the hole. The rest you're going to carve into whatever shape you want, but you want to make a center mark on each one. The diameter of your bowl will be one inch diameter, so I use a one inch diameter Forster bit to drill down. And on the other side, you draw a 5 8 diameter circle to fit inside your 5 8 hole, and then you drill about a 3 16 center hole through to connect to the tobacco chamber. 
table saw to two and a quarter to the inside of the blade. I'll leave you half an inch. Once you've got the squares roughed out on the bottom, take the drill bit, 3 16 drill bit. Alright, the next part's a little bit trickier. On the bottom part where you've drawn your 5 8 diameter circle, you want to just take your knife, start scoring the edges in, and then just carve it down a little bit at a time. And when you get close to the lines, you want to keep test fitting it in your pipe to make sure you don't make it too loose. You want it to be nice and snug so that it's airtight when you're smoking your pipe. All right, so there you have it. Those are the two components to your North American peace pipe. You want to make sure that you get a nice, snug fit around there so that it's airtight. Now, if you're into modern design, then you're already done. <laughs> but let's be serious. Nobody with a brain likes modern design. So we're going to carve this thing out and make it beautiful. Alright, so here's the Native American peace pipe in its rough form. Tune in next week when we put some carving on it and uh, see how well she smokes. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next week. Thanks guys.